Yoshiyuki Terajima has an impressive collection of Olympic pins. The 51-year-old began collecting them in 2002 when Japan co-hosted the FIFA World Cup. He now owns about 40,000 pins and spends about $1,300 a month on them. Usually at every Olympics, pin enthusiasts from all over the world lay out dozens of badges in the hope of making a trade. Terajima had hoped that this year's Olympics in Tokyo would offer an opportunity for him to grow his collection. But then organisers decided to ban overseas spectators from attending the Games due to the global health crisis. He's worried local fans won't even be allowed into the events. We still don't know what will happen and we're in a situation where we don't know if there will be spectators or no spectators. Can we really trade? If it is just a matter of collecting, there are things like the internet and other events that are not so widespread now, but you can get them at such places. However, I think the main experience is trading in person at the Olympics, so I'm a little worried that I can't do it. The metal keepsakes represent various sports, cities or competing countries. The tradition of trading them has been around since the early 20th century, when athletes first swapped their lapel pins as a sign of friendship and goodwill. As for Terajima, he says the postponement of the Games has brought one silver lining, more pin designs being released by sponsors and the media.